Hi everyone, welcome to another unboxing video. You may not be aware of this group called 1985 Games. They've produced some dungeon tiles that can be used for any RPG tabletop game you can pretty much think of. So they launched a Kickstarter last year in 2019. I didn't pledge in that one. However, I found about that out about this product through Facebook this year. So I decided to order both of the books they have released, which was this volume one that we're currently looking at. And in another video, we'll take a look at the Hell and High Water set as well. So because there's over a thousand map pieces, I'm actually just going to do three small videos unboxing this volume one set. The pieces are roughly split up between town buildings, a forests, and then dungeons. So that's how I'll split the videos as well. So when I got this, this was all in plastic cellophane, just taken off from off for the purpose of the video. You get a little welcome customer. Thank you very much for, for buying our product. And also you're told some instructions. So these are all pieces that you need to cut out yourself. Is this a bad thing? I don't really think so. It probably makes it a lot cheaper to, to deliver the product to us at the end of the day. You probably have to invest a few hours cutting the lines. So this is obviously a building rooftop. And on the other side is the inside of the building. So you probably have to cut the outline. But what's a few hours uh, to make a really cool tabletop atmosphere. Also, all these tile pieces were in plastic when I received the box. I've just obviously taken it off for the purpose of the video. So let's go chew them one by one. Now, as you saw with this set, they have the roof tiles and then on top, or I should say on the flip side of a roof tile is actually what's in the building. I personally think this is great. It saves having to move figurines around a board or or drawing, you know, new rooms or whatever when, when all the players decide to explore a particular building. The other thing you'll notice is that the colours are actually really vibrant. I personally love that the colours pop. It it's a bit more engaging for me. There's a lot of tile companies out there and some of them go for more gritty, realistic uh, feel to them. But I personally prefer a very whoops, bright um, armory set sitting in the corner of this room, for example. Now, another reason for doing these videos now is because 1985 Games actually has another Kickstarter going at the moment. I'm not associated with them at all. This is not sponsored in the slightest. As I said before, I just saw the ad on Facebook and thought it looked really cool. I've gotten myself some and I'm really happy with the product. I'm really pleasantly surprised. It, they have a good feel to them. They are vibrant, as I said. They're not too uh, thick, as you could, might be able to see on the camera. You can use dry and wet markers on them. But yeah, back to the Kickstarter that they're doing. So they've got some other sets coming out, specifically a Cursed Lands set. So the idea is that would go with the Curse of Strahd 5th edition campaign. And then they've got one for castles and holds and keeps and stuff like that. So I think that Kickstarter has about another 20 days before it lapses. Uh, if you really like what you see in these next few videos, I highly recommend pledging because you can actually get these two prior packs being Volume 1 and the Hell and High Water if you pledge during this Kickstarter. So I'll put a link in the description for it if you're really keen. The other thing I like about what they do is you can see these two treasure tiles so this is obviously one empty one one has goodies in it and this is when they're closed there's a subtle difference between the two so as a 
GM, you would know which one you're placing down. And if the party decides to open one and not the other, you'd be able to visually see, ah, uh, yes, that's the empty one, or ah, uh, yes, that's the one with the goodies. I kind of like that because as well, if you decide to not memorize what the visual markings are on the top of the treasure chest. Oh, hi, Leia. Uh, my cat's decided to say hello. But yeah, if you decide not to memorize the visual difference between the two you may also be surprised if the party discovers some goodies or not and here we have some empty stables and then on the other side are stables with horses so you can easily play out a scenario where the horses get spooked by something or other so this looks like the first of the forest tile set which means the end of this video i'll catch you for the next part thanks for listening